What's up everyone, we'll get a look at the Marlin series today, starting at Marlin 5, and that's where we start stock at. It seems like the best value for money right now. Um, we have it in a lot of the colors, um, so we're gonna pull out the Vault Green. So we're checking out the Marlin 5 in a little more detail, a little more detail than last time. Gonna go over a few of the main points of it. Um, you do have the part spec of Shimano Tourney here, um, this is a nice little shifting set, nothing crazy fancy about it. It goes to a 3x7 with the extended range cassette. Um, this means if you're really starting out in mountain biking, it's going to have a wide range of gears. You're going to be able to make it up pretty much every hill. It's going to be nice and easy for you. Um, if you already know what you're doing or have some fitness to you, you will definitely appreciate the upgrade to a, a higher level Marlin and to get a little faster, few more increments, um, and a simpler two by setup, which we'll touch on later. You get the hydraulic disc brakes and the comfy hand grips. So this is really meant to be a commuter slash trail bike. Comfy upright geometry. 29 of wheels for the larger frame sizes, and the smaller frame size will come with the 27 and a half, as seen here on the extra small. All similar widths at the 2.2, so you are getting a nice wide tire XR2s are a good overall tire, um, very trail ready. You should be able to survive pretty fast with this. If you're new to mountain biking, you'll appreciate knowing what gear you're in with the visual indicators here. As you go up the levels, you do lose that, um, which if you're not used to what gear you're in feeling it out, it does seem a little odd. Um, but by the time you're at a Roscoe level, you're back to a full mountain bike style and there is no indicator. Um, commuters generally show the indicators all the way through and then after that they disappear. Has a 31.8 seat tube so you can install most generic dropper posts in here. Comes in a few color options this year. Here's the teal. We've got the black and white. The women's color but you can ride them as men now because they only change the seat for the women so there is no different. Um, Differences as you get to smaller sizes in the women's color, they do add the drop down tube. So the Marlin 5s come with an SR Sun to fork, a small amount of travel, but enough to take away the hits on the trail or curbs if you're doing a lot of commuting with this bike. And we'll now compare it a little bit against the brand new Marlin 6s of 2020. Marlin 6s have some big changes this year. In the previous 2019 models, they did continue with the three by system. You're now going straight onto a two by system. So it makes it a little cleaner in the shifting, um, less chain movement, less chain noise. So everything's under more tension and it makes it a nice quiet ride. You go to an A-speed cassette on the back. So you still get that big range, especially with this extended cassette on the back there. A faster overall shifting set. So you'll notice within one block, within one block you'll notice the difference between a Merlin 5 and a Merlin 6. Slight upgrade to the fork, they do add a remote lockout to it which is really nice. Brakes are the same so there's still a nice hydraulic set on there. You still have the comfort grips again as it's supposed to be a semi commuter bike where you could use this on the trail. You could use this on the trail or as a commuter bike, never touching a trail, it's it's got some comfort features to it. <clears throat> Still has the indicators to let you know what gear you're in, both front and rear. Obviously, you only have two on the front, so it makes it a little easier. Depending what size frame you go to, you get two points to mount a cage here and here. On the smalls and extra smalls, there is not enough room, so you only get the one point. Now we're on to the Marlin 7. This is probably one of the best looking bikes out there right now. Has a really cool purple to green fade, um, depending which way you look at it. Super deep purple, and then switch into a, a dark green. Huge upgrade in the shifting this time. You go to a two by nine, 
So you get this massive range with really nice increments all the way up it. Going to the Acera from Shimano, shifts fantastically, really smooth. Still get the indicators so you can know what gear you're in at all times. Still with the XR2 on the 29s for the large. Um, and then a little fancier of a shock, fancier lockout, still entry level rock shock, so it's gonna work a lot better on trails. If you're gonna be doing more trails and commuting, this is gonna be a fantastic bike for you. Um, still under that thousand dollar mark for a hardtail, this really works well. Um, just a really nice looking bike. Um, they do go to a more trail ready grip, so you get rid of a bit of comfort and go to a little tack here, a little more able to hold on easier, get that trail ready. Yes. As we compare the three models, you've got the Merlin 5, lots of different color choices. You go to a three by seven, uh, nice wide ranges to it. You get to start out with really easy gears and be able to work your way up. As you go to the Merlin, as you go to the Merlin 6, you gotta go to a two by eight with a little bit better of fork with that option to lock out. And then you jump all the way up to the Merlin 7, better fork going to the Rock Sharks, two by nine, so even better gear shifting and a little bit better brakes, so it's gonna work better.